With RPA, it's a real, real industry where the people who are doing it now are going to make a massive difference to what it is and what it becomes in the future. I think if we, as developers and the people who are really, really at the forefront of robotics, really embrace the fact that actually the reason that we do what we do is for customers because it will really enrich their experiences, it makes things better, even things as, as simple as automating ordering a pizza on Domino's makes people's lives just that little bit better and more free-flowing. And for the people that we work with, it's about making their lives more interesting. So if there's any tasks that they've got that are really monotonous, really repetitive, that they can't enjoy doing, no one applies for a job thinking, do you know, I'd really love to do the same thing over and over and over again. I'll admit to being a little bit biased. I said I haven't used any, any other ones, but honestly, I can't think of any reason why I'd want to. UiPath as a, as a platform, it's really, really intuitive. Like I said, I, I hadn't done anything like this before, but actually within a, a couple of weeks, I'd built a robot that would, that would do something and it grows and grows and grows in complexity. I came from a really good situation in that the process I wanted to automate, I knew really, really well. So I didn't know anything about robotics. I didn't know anything about how to do automation or programming, but I knew the process. I used that, put the process together, built a robot that'll do it, and it worked really well. Just such an easy product to pick up and get better at. Then I can start to do processes that I don't know because I know how to use the, the automation software and actually the, the tools that UiPath gives are really, really good. It's intuitive and easy to pick up, but it's also got an awful, awful lot of depth. So there's a great, great deal that you can do with it. And it just increases all the time. It's really progressive. It's Almost constantly we're getting information and feedback from the team at UiPath and from the, the community saying, look, actually, this would be really, really good. We'd like to do this. You don't sit on laurels and say, do you know what? We've got a really, really good RPA product that, that I think probably stands up better than your competitors. But you say, we've got a really great one that could stand up better there. Where do we go next? How do we make it even better again? The whole thing about them is just it's such a fantastic idea that you can have something and say, look, if this happens, this is what's going to happen. And as long as you haven't had an exception, you can just keep plugging away here. But if anything unexpected happens, you can teach it how to deal with it just on the fly. And it's such a clever and powerful tool. Starting a journey in the RPA world, the best thing I could suggest is have a try. The, um, the community edition of the software is really, really good. Download it and have a go and just do automation. Don't, don't ever get caught into a, a trap thinking that it's something that for someone who's like a really, really high-end data scientist who's done 18 degrees in the, the kind of stuff that you'd need to do to do it. If you know a process really, really well, you 100% you can automate it. You, you can do it. Just have a try. If you're having any trouble, watch the training and go back to training that, you've, that you might have seen before that's about the thing you're having a trouble with and also engage with the community. So the UiPath guys and the actual UiPath users in the community are an amazing force. And if you ask a question, you'll get an answer relatively quickly and you'll probably get three or four different people giving you great solutions. And one of my favorite, favorite things about it is almost always it's a, look, here's a workflow that shows you how I've done it. So you can see where it is and you can see where you've gone wrong or if you've got a workflow you can't quite make work, you can put it on there and people will have a look at it and go, ah, it could be this, it could be this. You've got that there, so just, yeah, my, my advice is really jump in with both feet. There's, the software is absolutely brilliant to support you and you can do a lot more than you probably think you can do. I really, really like that they've added, though it's not much use to me, I'll say, the option to invoke code into your workflow. So you can put in, literally, you can hard code something in, in VB if you're really, really familiar with that. Like I said, I'm not, but again, there's people on my team who know it really well and actually, that comfort level lets them do things that I would do just using probably a few different steps on, a, on an automation, but they can quite quickly code out in a few lines to do it that way. So yeah, it's great. And, and also in the terms of integration, though probably a little bit off, uh, off topic, it's really good how UiPath can just work with anything the same as a user does. So where it uses the mouse and the keyboard to, to navigate the screen, it just means that it's, it's system agnostic. It doesn't matter what you're using. If a user can do something, you can do it with UiPath and that's just, it blew my mind when I figured out how. The biggest thing for me that made me apply to even do the automation job in, in the first place was that I could really be part of something that would revolutionise how we, how we deal with customers, how we make customers' experiences that little bit better. And actually, it's just such a great thing that you've got a, a product that can take someone who has a massive passion for delivering something to make people's lives better, but no necessary technical skill. <laughs> As long as you've got the mindset that means that you want to solve problems and you'll keep going back and, and you'll work a way around. Because that means that we can put the people who've got the interests of our customers, of our colleagues, of our friends and relatives in a position where they can make a, a real big difference. And that's incredibly admirable.